Hi, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shavasko. In the series of programming of the queues, on the last one, we have discussed about the priority queue using arrays. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the priority queue implementation using the linked list. Let's look at the scenario and understand how to implement the priority queue using the linked list. So I hope you remember that uh, when we implemented the priority queue using the arrays, we have treated the element same as its priority. It means if I have the element 10 to be inserted, I'm treating that 10 is, 10 is its priority. And I have also treated as the less number means more priority and more number means less priority. It means if I have the elements 1, 5, 7, 6, then out of these elements, the highest priority is of element 1, 5 is having the second highest priority, 6 is having the third highest priority, and 7 is having the last priority or the least priority. So depending on these fundamentals, let's see how can we implement the priority queue using the linked list. Our approach or our task will be to provide the service to the highest priority element. To do so, let's say we have some of the elements to be inverted. Let's say I have 12 to insert, I have 20 to insert, I have 5 to insert, I have 7 to insert, then I have 10 to insert, and then I have 12 to insert. So 12 is the first element which is coming for the insertion. Hence, the insertion of the 12 will be as the first element in the linked list. So I am inserting the 12 element as the first element in the linked list. So this will be the first element and this will be the last element as well. If you have to insert 20 in this priority queue, then I am trying to insert this element after 12. It means after the insertion of element 12, after the insertion of element 20, the linked list will look like an ascending linked list wherein the elements are stored in the ascending order. Similarly, if I have to insert this five, then five will be inserted as the first node and my linked list will look like this. If I have the PQ denoting the start of the linked list, then PQ will come here. Then if I have to insert the seven, seven will be inserted in between five and 12. So the insertion of the element seven will be after five. I'm trying to insert the larger element towards the end of the linked list or towards the later uh, later half of the linked list, just because if I have the smaller element at the beginning or the highest highest priority element at the beginning, for serving these elements, I can simply perform the deletion from the front or deletion from the beginning. So that's why I am treating or I'm keeping these elements towards the beginning. So I'm creating uh, ascending an ascending order linked list as a process of the insertion. So let's say I have to insert this element 10. For the insertion of the element 10, I will have to search where is the appropriate position for this element to be inserted. For the insertion of this element 10, I am assuming that P is at the first node and P is the pointer through which I will iterate this or I will traverse this link. So I will have to check if the element to be inserted, that is 10, if it is larger than the current element, then I will progress the speed. So now I will compare this 10 again with the current element. So 10 is larger than the current element. So I will again progress the speed to point to the next node. And I will once again check if my element to be inserted is greater than the current element. So since uh, my element is not greater than the current element, it means I will have to insert an element at this position only. It means I will have to insert this 10 in between seven and 12. For insertion of an element after seven, I should have the pointer to this node also. So along with the address of the current element or the current node, I should have the address of the previous node also for performing this task. So let's do this task once again and understand how this will progress. Let's say I have to insert 10 and P is at this node, which is the first node and Q is initially null. It means 
q is always the predecessor node of p it means q is always before the node p if i have to insert the element 10 then the element will be compared with the information of the p node since this 10 is larger than the current information's information current node's information then i advance p to point to the second node and q will point to the first node it means i am progressing q and p simultaneously so once again if i check the element 10 to be inserted with the information of the current node p then 10 is larger than the current node's information hence q will progress and along with that p will also progress to point to the next node now if 10 is compared with the current node's information it is not larger than this so i will have to stop here or i will have to stop our search here and then information 10 will be inserted after this node q so you must be knowing that uh, how to perform the insertion of the element after the given node by calling the insert after function so i have q i have p and if i have to insert the element then the element can be inserted after the element q by setting up two pointers one is that let's say we are taking the get node function and inserting uh, sorry taking get node function and inserting the data element 10 here and then pointing this node at p and the next of q pointing at the r so as like this the element 10 will be inserted in between q and p or after p so after the insertion of this information my english will be like this i have 5 as a first node and then 7 as the second node then 10 as the third node then 12 as the fourth node and 20 as the last node of the fifth node if i have to insert this 12 now we once again do the same process p points to the first node and q is its predecessor initially q will be null because there is no predecessor node of p since 12 information to be inserted is larger than 5 so i will advance this q here and p here since 12, in the 12 information is greater than the current box information that is 7. So I will once again advance Q here and P here. And then 12 is larger than the information of P that is 10. So I will advance Q here and advance P here. This 12 information to be inserted, obviously it is not larger than the element 12, but it is large. It is equal to the element 12. So since we have discussed in the array implementation also, that if a 12 has already been there in the priority queue, then it will be service first, then this element will be served, which is going to be inserted now. So if I have the same priority element, they will be dealt in the first one first one manner. To ensure this, we will insert this 12 after this P. It means if this element 12 to be inserted is equal to the information of the current node, then I'll once again advance the Q and the P pointers to point to the next nodes. So at this point, 12 it will not be larger than the information of 20. So I will stop my search here and will insert the element 12 after the info after the q node so if i will insert the 12 here after the q node the link list will look like this fine now if i have to insert one more element let's say and uh, that information which is to be inserted let's say that is two so two two is the information that is to be inserted for insertion of this element, I will start my search from the first node and Q will be null. As soon as I, as soon as I check the information of two with the information of the current node, the condition uh, says that the, the in information to be inserted is not larger than the current node's information. So I will stop my search here and I will have to insert this element two at the beginning. So if I have to insert the element at the beginning, this is ensured by if Q is null or not. If Q is at the valid node, I will have to call the insert after function. And if Q is null, in that case, I will have to call the insert beginning function to insert the information. Fine, for the insertion operation, we'll be performing this. And for the deletion operation, we have to delete the element from the beginning, it means the first element will be deleted from the link list. So now let's uh, try to implement all these things. 
let's try to write the algorithm for the same let's say ordered inversion or the nq whatever you like let's say we are writing the nq as the name of the algorithm wherein the start is the address of the first node and the information to be inserted is x let's say let's take a p at the first node and q as null initial as a first process we will have to search for the appropriate position for the insertion so if x is greater than or equal to information of the current node that is p it means p dot info then i will advance q to point where p is and p will move to the next fine when this loop finishes i will have the correct position of uh, uh, correct position at after which i have to insert so i we have already seen that if uh, q is null in this case then i will insert the element towards the beginning of the link list and if it is not then in that case i will insert the element after the q so x will also be passed so this is the process of the insertion this is the process of the insertion now let's say i have the link list like this 2 4 6 8 10 and, and i have to insert the element 12 here in this link list so if p is here and q is null 12 is greater than the information of p that is 2 so q comes here p comes here 12 is greater than 4 also so i will advance the p and the q to point at these nodes and then 12 is larger than 6 also so p and q once again progresses q will come here and p will come here and 12 is larger than 8 also so q and p are progress to point 2 the next node it means q comes here and p comes here and 12 is larger than this also I means 10 also then i will once again have to advance this q to point 2 to 10 and p as soon as you progress this p since this is the last node p will become null if p has become null it means the comparisons or the further comparisons will not be possible so we will have to restrict our search by the time p is at the valid node the moment the p becomes null it means we cannot search any more we have come to the end of the linked list so i will have to incorporate one more condition in the search that p is not null and along with this this condition should also be so if p is not null and x is greater than or equal to p dot info i will move to the next node so let's say the insertion process or the search process has finished and my q has reached to this node if i insert 12 after q this will be inserted very well with the code of insert after so this is the nq operation through which we can insert the elements and then if i have to perform the dq operation or the deletion operation so let's say the start is the address of the first node in the priority queue i will simply call the delete beginning function and this will delete the element from the beginning of the link list so this is actually performing the deletion operation of the dq in the priority queue so this will will be ensuring that the highest priority elements are served first before the lower priority elements and if in case we have uh, the elements with this equal priority then they will be served the first one first of all now let's code this at the code block now here is a code written uh, you must have gone through the coding of the thing list i'm just explaining it explaining it in a nutshell that we have declared this uh, structure for the link list which contains two elements one is the information and the other one is the address of the next node and then the get node function which is used for providing us the uh, allocation of memory if we want to do the insertions this is the insert beginning function which inserts a node at the beginning of the link list 
this is the insert after function that inserts the element after the given node. Now the ordered insertion function Now for performing the deletion operations or the DQ operations, we need the delete beginning function also. So this has been written for the deletion of the first node from the linked list. Our more important uh, function or the most important function is this one, wherein we are performing the ascending order inversion. Or you can say that this is the NQ operation. Let's change the name to the NQ of the linked list. So what we have seen that if uh, our link list is empty and this is the first time I'm performing the insertion, so we'll be performing the insert beginning only. Obviously, if link list is null and uh, we are doing the first time insertion in the priority queue, the element will be inserted in the beginning. And if it is not, then we will traverse the link list. We are taking two pointers, P and Q. P is at the first node and Q will be null. By the time P is not null and key is or the key to be inserted is greater than the greater than or equal to the information of the current node q and p will progress to the next nodes if q is null we'll perform the insert beginning operation if q is not null it means q is at the valid node will be inserting after the given node now the ascending order insertion will change to the name and q here So all the ascending order, I'm changing the name of all the ascending order in version to the end. So there are many insertion operations I've performed. The insertion of 10, 7, 12, 3, 4, 13, 1, and 9, and 8. So after this, if I traverse this link list, our link list should come in the ascending sequence. So let's test this. So if I test this, you can see that the link list is coming in the ascending sequence 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, and 13. So I have found that the link list is, is being arranged in the ascending order. So the next uh, process will be we should delete some of the elements and let's see if the deletion sequence is correct according to our expectation. So in the deletion, what we'll do, we'll just call the delete beginning function or the DQ operation and in the inside the DQ you can call the delete beginning operation. So we just write in that deleted information is percentile D we call the DQ function inside. So this will delete the element. We can perform several deletion operations. Let's say we are performing four deletion operations here. And after the four deletion operations, Let's traverse the link list once again and check if the link list is correct. Okay, so we are calling the DQ function. So in the DQ function, you will have to pass the address of the first node. Let's write the DQ function. And X information, which is being returned by the delete beginning function. And the information which is coming from this uh, delete beginning function, we can return that information. So let's test that this function works fine. Yes, you can see that the first deleted information is one, the next deleted information is three, next deleted information is four, and the next deletion for deleted information is seven. After the deletion of the first four information, one, four, one, three, four, seven, the link list remains with eight, nine, 10, 12, and 13.
So I hope you must have understood the linguist implementation of the priority queue. In the next lecture, we will see the heap implementation of the priority queue. And then we will go for the double-ended queue and its implementation. Thank you.